Whoa. What's up, guys? Good morning. It's like 5 in the morning here, and it's hella cold, and I'm just waiting for the shop to kind of warm up. So, let's get started. Now, I haven't done one of these videos in actually a pretty long time, and I know I should keep looking at the camera, and I'm going to start practicing that. Now, I've been actually very busy lately doing a lot of mods and a lot of things in the background, and which is the reason why I couldn't make one of these videos, because in the morning, I was just editing all the videos and uh, seeing what else I need to do, what I need to redo, and all those kinds of other things. Now, there's a couple of interesting things that's actually going on right now. Uh, the FPV Drone Finder kit, complete kit, without the XT60 connector, uh, is going to be available on Banggood within, I think, two weeks, hopefully. So around next week, towards the end of next week, it, it sh hopefully it should be there on the post. So that's going to be really nice. Um, that's something pretty interesting. But there's even something a little bit even more interesting. Remember how I said I was going to do that ultimate dongle USB thing, which allows you to connect any transmitter to the PC, basically, and play wirelessly through your receiver? Well, I got it manufactured. Or just the PCB manufacturer. I got it manufactured at PCB. Well, you should highly check those people out. So, yeah, this video is not sponsored, but I got it. That's why I got it, because I really like their work, actually. And so it's like the dollar cheaper than JSCLB for me, so I just go for it. So, yeah, I got it manufactured, and I do have all the components. Actually, I didn't have most of the components. I had a salvage from other things, and I built it, and it's right here. And this thing actually works beautifully. Like, it's insanely awesome. Now, I actually finished this about three weeks ago, or two weeks ago. But I said, no, I'm going to keep it as a surprise for later. So right now I'm in the talks with Banggood, and they are pretty interested. And uh, hopefully you guys let them know how interested you'd be in one of these down below. You won't get it as a kit. You'll get it pre-made. Pre but if you guys want kits also, then maybe I can make a couple. But kits will be, it's, it's stupid because kits will be more expensive. Um, it's just how it is. I don't know why. So, yeah. Um, but yeah. These are really awesome. I don't know if I'll, they'll have a case for them just yet or not when they're sold or probably just like this. Uh, but yeah, these will play iBus, SBus, uh, PPM, and all these other crazy cool things uh, straight to your piece. So you basically just solder your receiver to it. And I'll have, I'll have a detailed video on this later on or maybe a build video so you guys can see it in action. So yeah, uh, this is going to be pretty interesting and it's going to be pretty cool. Also, on side note, UAV Futures, Stoop. Stu, I have the most respect for you for the things you do for other people, and um, which you don't really need to do. And um, I just want you to know if anything were to happen to you, I, I would stand by your side 100%. I see the type of person you are. Um, I don't usually make posts because I think it's a publicity stunt for someone of my size just to get more views and more subscribers. But whatever way is being mentioned to help, I usually do what I can. But... Um, like for example right now zoe um that was very kind of you and very nice of you i, I don't have her in my feed so i had no idea what the hell's going on and uh without you i wouldn't have known so obviously it's a person from our community and we stand by you know um this goes to any other youtuber or any other person or fpv community um much respect is going out for you Stu. That, that's that's what I can say. Now, for other news. The Turnergy Evolution. I absolutely forgot about that transmitter. Now, it is theoretically possible to put the R9M and putting a TBS Crossfire on it. However, I need to find it first. I don't know where I put it. I know it's in a backpack somewhere hanging. I have a bunch of backpacks, so I'm going to go look for it and see how easy it is. If it's a simple process, kind of like the Fly Sky, then psh, I'll immediately jump on it. But, you know, since now, to be honest, the, the, the Fly Sky is, is much more attractive to me with the new mod for some reason. It's just, I don't know, it's just, you know, it's a $50, oh, shit, I broke my antenna. All right, so yeah, it's a $50 and just transmitter that you can do so much shit to. It's just crazy, you know? And don't forget, this thing will start binding to FR Sky, Spectrum, and all these other things. If you get this, I'll leave a link down below. If you get this, you can bind anything you want. You just switch this knob, hold this button, you're bound. Now, you won't have a model menu. You won't have anything of that nature. But later on, there could be a possibility. Actually, there is a possibility. But it's such a huge project. I was going to keep it for a later day when I have a little bit more time. But if you're curious, it's called Open AVRC, I think. Open AVRC. Um, what they do is basically rip out the internals, bring in an Arduino Mega, and then you have OpenTX on this bad boy. Yeah, like full-fledged with, you know, module bay, Lua scripts, all these kinds of crazy cool things. However, it's a really, 
really long process to get done. But what I was thinking of doing, maybe when I have the time, I can design a PCB board replacement based on the AT Mega uh, that they're using for the project and just the same exact size as the current main board and you just plug everything in directly. But the overall cost of that might be more expensive than getting probably even a QX7 or something. So I don't know if it would be really worth it, but I'll have, I'll, I'm, I'm going to look into it and see when, when I have time because that thing needs a lot of work actually, like a lot of work. Mods, the Eoshin VR D2 Pro, I burned that thing. Well, I didn't burn it, I burned one of the ICs and I also pulled the trace. Kind of like what I did with the JJ Pro, but you guys haven't seen that video yet. So I pulled the trace on the JJ Pro, but I actually made the first part, which is the proof of concept, not the complete build, because I'm still designing the, I'm still, I'm still designing and 3D printing uh, the finished mod. So you'll see a prototype of the 3D model that I'm working on. And what that'll do, obviously, if you have a JJ Pro, I don't know where the hell mine is. Um, what that'll do, if, if you have one, you see that on the top, you have this battery bay that's a really pain in the ass to pop out. I took his dimensions, I've never ever taken a dimension of something that's curved, so I kind of, you know, try to figure it out, like a two degree curve with this thing. I don't, I don't know, I've never tried to measure a curve, to be honest, before, so I had no idea. So I took the overall length and kind of curve, and then hopefully guesstimated. And I haven't printed it yet, because I hate printing things that need support, and this is the type of things... This is the type of thing that needs support. So I'm going to have to... I just got lazy to do it, to be honest, but the first part of the video is done, so that's, that'll go be upcoming probably over the weekend. I'll make some time for myself to print that out. So yeah, there's a new known issue, possibly, with BLH32 ESC, especially if you're running low KV6S above 1900 KV, you might run into problems. Now, I have not confirmed this, I will be confirming this very soon, and keeping you guys updated. Also, I have a huge surprise, which is super sick which I have made, it was already in the market, but I made it a little bit better and programmable and something that fits kind of what we do. It gives it a little flair to our quads. It's a little piece of electronics. It's a half a stack. It's going to be pretty interesting. DHL should arrive in around four hours, bringing it and I'll be building it. And um, it's basically like what I did with the USB. I made the PCB. I have all the parts I ordered from uh, Mauser, I think, or DigiKey. And I'm going to build it. And uh, I did the proof of concept programming of that thing. And now I'm going to do the official uh, building of the thing. And then the testing of the thing. And the testing of the thing is going to be pretty damn interesting. So um, I think it's going to be pretty awesome. I think some of you are going to say this is stupid. But some of you are going to say this is pretty damn awesome. So currently what I believe, I think it's pretty damn awesome. It just gives it a little, a little nice different perspective perspective or a different view maybe i think that view maybe a different view a different view in a perspective so i think it'll be pretty interesting hopefully don't know but we'll we'll see how well, how you guys are going to take that but i will not release any information about it until i made the official video of me actually using it so it's going to be pretty interesting um i'm actually working on a quite a few little pro i'm really loving these these things actually to be honest there's a lot of little things i'm working on in the background which i think are actually pretty interesting um so i'm, I'm i really want to actually go into more mods and more deeper stuff but i still have to do reviews to keep the channel afloat and um you know the way to to actually break away or cut down on the reviews i love doing reviews i don't have a problem with the esc reviews and other things but what I really want to do is kind of cut down reviews and also just work on mods and really useful stuff, which I really love doing. But in order to make that happen, I need a lot more supporters on Patreon. But eventually, hopefully, time will pass and hopefully that'll happen. But meanwhile, this is where I am. I'm very grateful. I'm very happy. But anyways, any support goes an absolute long way, guys. And I need all the support I can possibly get to keep the channel afloat. So what else do we have? Hmm. Yes. The action camera testing quad. Not the camera drone with the gimbal. That one's done. I'm just waiting for the propellers. And DHL might come in like three hours and bring those. Uh, so if we take a look here. My most recommended ready to fly quadcopter is the Hollybro Copus. I actually bought two so far. That's how good it was. Because I didn't want 
Don't break one. And then be grounded. I trust this thing so goddamn much that I'm just really loving it. It's really that good. So now what I'm doing is, if you've been watching my Thingiverse, or if you follow me on Thingiverse, I'm actually releasing designs that I'm doing for this quadcopter, as you can tell here. So a lot of people said they want to do 3D printing Wednesday and stuff. So I'll, be, I'll be probably do it on Wednesdays. I don't know. It's not really random. It'll be more of a random day than, than a, a scheduled day, to be honest. Depends. Depends on what I have. So I'll be sharing my uh, designs and things that I've printed, things that I thought were useful, things that I thought were a piece of crap, and what am I doing and what settings I was using. I think it'll be pretty interesting. And I'm using a pretty affordable 3D printer, which is the Creality CR10 Mini. I'll have a link down below. You can check those out. Those greatly support the channel also. So that is something also. And um, I have a lot of things to do today, actually. So I'm just waiting for the shop to warm up slightly so I can actually move freely. So I just thought I'd just sit down because I was watching UAV Futures video. I thought I'd just sit down and give the appreciation and respect that was needed to give him uh, for doing what he did. I'm pretty sure others did also, but I didn't see anybody else's. I just saw his. So, um, but yeah, it's really nice of the community to see see that support go through. Um, hopefully, she goes. She finds everything right. I just watched also a uh, 40 minute. Well, I didn't watch the whole 40 minutes. I watched like five minutes of it, just skipping through. And hopefully she's 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 in a better position, and hopefully she she gets it, everything just right. And um, yeah, I wish you the best of luck, Zoe. Um, and well, oh yeah, do you guys know what a pan and tilt thingy is? It's basically two servos. You put a camera on, you can control it, so it's turn right and left. So I actually found one ready made on Banggood for like fourteen bucks, and that's coming with my S eight hundred wing, uh, which I will be first testing on the JLB racing and I also have another I have a bunch of RC cars coming on the way so I want to do something pretty interesting maybe I want to see what kind of quad can lift one of these bad boys they're pretty damn heavy actually I don't even think this the, the 10 inch quad would actually lift those so we'll see I also have the 12 inch uh, quadcopter gonna be built very soon on the channel it's around, it was around $74 frame from being good I got it and um, what else do we have the hexacopter 10 inch it's completely ready i broke the arm yesterday not the arm the landing gear because i by mistake i just super glued it hopefully it'll work but it doesn't matter it's not a really main component here but uh what i'm waiting for is the propellers and that's what's coming my s800 wing and uh this country had like a two-day holiday monday and tuesday so everything was just stuck in customs longer than usual yay and well what do you guys want to see I don't know. I have the SpedEx ES test. I think will come out today. I have the SpedEx ES test, and what else do I have? I forgot. I finished like three videos, but I know I can't upload three videos in one day. So, yeah, I think I'll just have the ESC test come out today or something else. We'll see what's up. Let me know what you guys think down in the comment section. And well, I'll see you in a couple hours. Peace out, guys.